Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I thought that I would do just a simple iOS 4.1 features update. Um, unfortunately, I only have the iPod Touch 3G, so I'm not going to be able to show you all of the features of the iOS 4.1, but I'll be able to show you some of the major ones, what I think is good, my overall thoughts of the uh, operating system, and just how you can add me on Game Center um, later in the video. So first, let's get, let's get to it. The main features. Obviously, the main one is that icon right there, little Game Center action. So, as you can see the icon, I zoomed in on it. What is Game Center? Game Center is essentially Xbox Live for the iPod Touch. Many of you guys probably already know that, and it is for the iPhone and iPad as well. But, essentially, you can download games. I'll open it up right now. App Store. You can go to the App Store, click this little icon that says Game Center, and it shows you all of the apps that are actually Game Center compatible that you can download. So once you download those games, you can go ahead and open up Game Center, which I will right now. And you can essentially play those games multiplayer with other people who you have added as friends in the Game Center app, or just random people you want to pair up with, such as Xbox Live. Um, as you can see, this is the screen you're greeted with. There are four tabs down at the bottom. First one says Me. That's your profile, um, all your information that your friends see. Next one is friends, next one is games, and next one is requests. Obviously, requests is people who want to be your friends. It will show your requests there. Friends, it will show your actual friends list. And games, obviously, shows the game center games you have installed. Um, there is my account email. Um, as you can see, you can set a status simply by tapping right there and typing it in, hitting done, and it updates your status. Um, up here, this is my name, Dangle King PC, as you can see, which is my YouTube name. Um, and it lists your friends, your games, and your achievements as well. So that is the home page of Game Center. Next in friends, obviously I don't have any friends yet, but if you guys want to go ahead and go ahead and add me, add my email, um, Jimbo2100 at gmail.com, or you can use my Dangle King PC at gmail.com email. Both of them will send me a request and I will add you and maybe we can play a game together sometime. But uh, that is friends. Next is games. You can go ahead and click there. I don't have any Game Center games installed yet, but I can click Find Game Center Games right here, and it will bring up the App Store to the section I just showed you. And requests, I don't have any right here either, but you can go ahead and hit Add and send a request, or you can re answer your requests there as well. So that is Game Center. I think it's a great feature that will really take off soon as the iPod, iPod iPhone, and iPad all get more popular but yeah that's Game Center that's the major feature um, another feature is an update in iTunes so I'll go ahead and open it up um, one of the first features is down here in the videos section and you click TV shows they have added TV show rentals finally to the um, iTunes store so I'll go ahead and click Glee which is featured here I'll click, not reviews, I'll click sneak peek season 2 or don't want to get into copyright issues so I'll hit done there okay obviously that's not working Gossip Girl just to show you guys what a rental looks like I'll double tap and usually yeah I can't find one that actually has it but usually right here you'll click um it says free but if it's a paid one you can click rent right here for TV shows and they have added that which is pretty cool another feature they've added is ping down here I have not set it up as you guys can see that's why it says cannot connect to the app store but up there it says ping and there's the tab this is the actual social networking that I reviewed in my past video um but essentially it is Facebook for the iTunes store you can actually talk with your friends, um, follow them, see what they're up to, update your statuses, and um, all sorts of stuff here in Ping. And basically, it is Facebook for iTunes, as I just previously stated. So that's pretty cool. They have integrated that into the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad now. And uh, that's another big feature. So Game Center, Ping, and TV Show Rentals are the big three. Two that I cannot actually show you are HDR photography. On the new iPod Touch, they actually have a camera back here and a camera right here on the front that you can actually take HDR photos with, which is it, com it combines a low picture 
um, light and a dark picture or a high picture light and uh, combines the two into somewhere in the middle so the lighting looks great and the photos look a lot better um, but I can't actually show you that but that is just a simple thing that makes the photos of better quality um, another feature they've added is HD video uploading on the iPhone 4 and iPod touch you can actually shoot in HD and, and directly upload it to YouTube this is why I'm thinking of getting the iPod touch 4 because I can just upload my videos straight to YouTube from there which would be very cool and yeah those are the five major features in iOS 4.1 there are all of the features of iOS 4.0 included in 4.1 as well and um, yeah go ahead and download it in the link in the description what are my thoughts of the OS overall I think it is slightly faster than iOS 4.0 apps seem to load faster and the multitasking just seems to go a little bit better as you can see down here it just it's the same bar but it just seems to be smoother everything seems to be smoother and faster just as in every iPod touch and iPhone update but uh, yeah overall it's a good update I can't wait for iOS 4.2 to come out so I can review that for you guys too if you like this video, please rate thumbs up and please subscribe. Also, visit my Twitter and visit my website in the description, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.